Well, good morning. Uh, getting the day started off. You can see uh, pretty overcast. We were blessed with sunshine the last few days. It's going to be warmer today, I think mid 30s. Um, last couple of days, mid 20s, but the sun really shined. You can see, like all our south facing slopes, really melted off quite a bit. I don't know. I don't know how much we're going to melt off today. It's, uh, it's going to be about 10 degrees warmer, but no sun. So we'll see. But ready to thaw out and as usually is the case around here if you don't like the weather just wait a day or two I think in three days time we're gonna be in the mid 60s so snow's not gonna hang around a whole lot longer but got a few challenges still with one hydrant it's frozen up on us optimistically hoping maybe we can get that thawed out by this afternoon but I don't know I have my doubts but anyway Complaining about it ain't gonna do no good. Let's get these animals fed. So I got the horses fed. We'll let them out. Been letting them just out here in the barn lot last day or two. We'll talk more about kind of our challenges there in a minute. But also show you, look what Santa Claus brought us. Uh, I guess, what was that yesterday morning we found that down here. But uh, yeah, out here kind of on the farm. I don't know that that's really a qualifying factor, but our biggest block of concrete on the entire property is right here in the hall of the barn. So that's where the goal is gonna stay for right now. Um, but obviously it's one we can move around for the kids. But all right, cows are getting mad. I'm saying stop talking and start feeding. Feed lodges up in here pretty bad. Too, this old bin is a little bit of bad shape. We patched and I don't know. We haven't gotten all the life out of it that we will, but she's seen her better days. The newest calf right there, getting her some breakfast. Of course, then there's the other newest one and then the other two over there. So all four of our recently born calves in good shape. But yeah, she says, who says a Bramer cross calf can't be born in zero degree temperatures, single digits, whatever it was that morning and do just fine. Huh. Yeah, not ideal. Not That was not by design. Run some water right here in a tub for the horses and got a little trough there for those steers because our hydrant down there in the barn where we feed them is still frozen. Um, I don't know, I was hoping that we might get it thawed out today, but I don't know, I'm not too hopeful for that. And we could take some more aggressive measures to get it thawed but right now, since this hydrant was good. We just kind of let the steers out, let them into this full barn lot. Really the one disadvantage with that is it means normally open that gate, let the horses go through here and back over into the next pasture. I can't really do that if those steers are in there. Um, so gotta decide what exactly we're gonna do, what measures we may take to uh, get them back into their normal quarters. Oh, overfull. Those boys up there drinking. That's what, I don't know that for the first day or two, even before that uh, they drank their water down here, I was busting ice every day and they still weren't really drinking i feel like that's been a little bit of an issue um i'd filled that water up of course yesterday morning last night and uh they really just hadn't drank much but now they're up there so whatever as we get a few little random snowflakes falling which there was like a 30 percent chance of snow this morning i saw where a few people in our general area um I'd actually gotten a dusting, um, so, but I think tomorrow, today and tomorrow, I think we're like in the mid thirties and then like mid forties after that, and then like say up, up into the sixties even. So, um, things are looking up as far as temperatures go. Well, now here it is, like legitimately trying to snow again, but yeah, I don't think we're expected to get any more than a light dusting. So, whatever. Kind of over it. It's uh, 
it is pretty for about five minutes and then I got okay, it's just annoying but y'all have all been fed hay situation they've still got just a little hay left in that feeder maybe got one hay roll kind of up around the corner of the draw there you can't see um but it's not exactly the best of the hay and so they're like yeah they kind of they will eat it if we make them but we'll probably have to put them out some hay later on no other reason i'm back to work tomorrow so it's just it's a lot more convenient for me to go ahead and do it today but the tractor um i don't remember if we were filming then or not on christmas eve fired right up and i left it running you know naturally for a few minutes let it warm up came back it was dead could never get it to start and keep it running again so i think we had a problem with fuel gelling up um yeah not something we usually run into around here but we don't typically run into sub-zero temperatures either so hopefully getting into the mid-30s this afternoon we can get get her to crank up and cooperate otherwise i may can use the uh the bail unroller to carry hay out there even if we don't actually unroll them we'll see we'll adapt improvise and overcome heading to check on the other group of cows and uh turn the camera around it has snowed a fair bit this morning these roads had pretty well cleared off over the last i'm trying to think today's monday so we got all that snow thursday night into friday roads weren't completely clear especially these back roads but it got me in pretty good shape and now my wife is supposed to be heading out of town here in just a few minutes um my mother-in-law already left with the kids in the suv and my wife's driving my mother-in-law's uh little car i just called her it's like i don't know i don't know that that's the best idea you look coming up a hill here um this kind of they were giving us a little chance of snow for today, but I guess caught people a little bit by surprise. Crew's in good shape. They finally started eating on those those kind of nastier rolls of hay we brought down here, I guess two days ago. But this time yesterday, they hadn't really worked on them too much, but I guess they finally got hungry enough. I'd like to bring them a little better hay down here this afternoon. Water's in good shape here dripping nicely so good shape there we'll get a head count on everybody we're missing a single cow which is weird um and i don't like it so i counted on like 14 times just to be sure i wasn't overlooking somebody but no we we're one cow short so we're gonna drive around ground's still good and frozen hard actually i see her back here now right back here and just be sure that she's just seeking shelter and there's nothing wrong hey mama everything okay looks like she's sore on the front foot the way she's standing there you okay baby you okay you okay you getting around all right yeah yeah she's significantly lamer on the front end hopefully it's just hard frozen ground she's got her sore uh -huh see a bunch of them in back here you can tell where we unrolled the hay the other day they've they've been picking back through it now that some of the snow melted off and then it decided to snow more on it but uh yeah she hadn't been lame so we'll have to keep a close eye on that be sure it doesn't turn out to be anything more significant come on dogs let's go we've warmed up to like 34 degrees so we're gonna see if we can get tractor running let it warm up for a bit if she'll start let me put out a little hay those cows there they still got an old roll but they're picking at it and bawling and they're they're kind of protesting that that's all we're offering them fingers crossed <laughs> Hmm. Well, all right. Giving up on that once again. Um, well, uh, I think what we can probably do now is we can just get to some with the bail unroller. Probably get to one with the truck. Um, 
and just have to put out hay like that until things warm up a little more, I guess. But anyway, frustrating thing about that was wanting to get some good, real good hay out of the barn. Um, it's just not going to be our reality. Some good news. Uh, just unhooked this hose, which it's obviously still frozen in there. And uh, hydrant started trickling, blew out a little bit of ice. And so hydrant is thawed. Um, this hose, which, which runs over there to that trough, um, uh, I'll take it a day or two. That's fine. We're just going to fill up a couple of these old protein tubs with water. We'll just water them like that for the next uh, oh, two or three days until we can go back to the original plan. Then we'll see if we can get that uh, apparatus that's supposed to drip to work properly so that when we inevitably encounter our next big freeze, maybe it'll work as it should. But um, hey, something went right. Well, let's see if the truck will start. It's been plugged in for the last three or four hours, so it should. All right. Now, yeah, I guess we're gonna put out some hay out here using the bale unroller, even though we might not actually unroll. Might might put out one and then unroll another one. I should say put one in the ring and then unroll another one. But we'll see. Made the decision, obviously, to go ahead and unroll that one. They're hungry, the ground's still pretty good and uh, hard for the most part. They should be motivated to clean that up, so we'll see. We're gonna do the same thing, just using the truck for the other cows. I don't have enough room to back up to it square, so I don't know, I'm gonna have to see if I can just kind of maneuver it, spin it a little bit where I can get it up on there like I want to. I don't know, a bit of a cluster. Alright, so she ain't on there perfectly square and straight, but worked out better than I, I won't say better than I thought, but better than it could have potentially. Yeah, she looks pretty ugly here from the back, but whatever, we're going about four miles down the road, we're just going to carry the one roll, so it'll work. This is melted off, especially after that next pasture. Or just when we drove through, it's pretty good stockpile. We know there's a lot of stockpile back when we move them out of four or five days ago, just to get them up here closer with this nasty weather. They got a little hay left in the feeders. We'll probably leave them in here for like another 48 hours, or maybe more like a day and a half. Morning after tomorrow, when I check them, I think I'll probably move them back to the, to the um, what we call the middle pasture here for them to graze that stockpile. Um, yeah, because what we were planning on being back there until uh, mid-January or so anyway, so. Anyway, but got them a little hay. Um, they'll appreciate this. And uh, yeah, on to the next chore. Came and grabbed about 25 bales of um, square Bermuda grass hay pain of it is with all the equipment having to carry it out here to throw it on the truck which that is a good job for a cool day which I'm now sweating and out of breath but 2020. we still got wow. quite a bit of alfalfa but running a little low on the grass hay so I thought uh, while we're out and about I'll swing in here and grab some boys didn't just completely clean the bunks last night but they got pretty close we'll get them a little more feed put in here Archie you were kind of a muddy mess getting the afternoon chores done went ahead and fed the steers oh yeah a couple of them up are eating yeah when it just got super cold like that they kind of went all feed a bit um, I don't know, we made sure they had fresh water available at all times. I don't know if that was a contributing factor, but yeah, things thought out a good bit more today than I kind of expected with no sun shining. So it should be more of the same tomorrow before things really warm up on Wednesday. 
Um, I just need to clean horse stalls, do a couple things up there. And I may go deer hunting for just a little bit this afternoon. I don't need any meat, but I got a couple of co-workers that uh, I told I would get them a deer. Um, they said they wanted some venison. So today may be a good day to do that. My family, um, wife and kids left town, left went to go to my in-laws. Um, my mother-in-law had been here with us just for uh, Christmas night. Had our ribeye roast last night, it was fantastic. But um, so now she's going there. I'm back in the office again tomorrow. So I would I would make that trip. So that's a long way of me saying, yeah, I don't have any family in town, so I might as well go hunt, take advantage of that. And so probably gonna just about wrap it up this one. Appreciate y'all watching. Um, got a lot of interesting stuff coming up like we always do. Uh, yeah, with that surprise calf, we're gonna have to um, be watching extra close on those cows that we just bought. There's three others. But again, shouldn't be calving till like March, maybe late February, but hey, we didn't expect that one to be born on Christmas Eve either. But we appreciate y'all watching. Um, remember to subscribe if you haven't. Give the video a thumbs up. Hope y'all are checking out the Talk Dirt to Me podcast. I know a bunch of you are. I'm um, really excited about what we got coming up there in the next year for 2023. Um, but y'all remember, eat beef and God bless.